milk. Spilling it makes us cry, and it's half of what we feed Santa. But if Santa knew what it does to our bodies and the environment, he might want to switch to scotch. Should milk be off the menu? Or is there a way to drink it, spill it, and not even cry? Green Food Daily. You've probably been asked if you've got milk. The National Dairy Council says that three servings a day will build stronger bones for life. We even put it on the food pyramid. According to modern medical research, though, too much dairy is toxic to your body, and the industry has a whole bunch of gross side effects. News to you? Well, don't move a muscle. <laughs> Sorry. We're counting down the top five ways milk and the dairy industry do a body bad. It's cruel to cows. Cows in the wild, aka outdoors, have an average lifespan of 20 years. But the average cow inside a factory farm lives for about five before they're tapped out and turned into Happy Meals. And those few years are more saw than sound of music. Nine out of 10 dairy farms practice dehorning. That's the medical term for cutting a cow's horns off without anesthesia. Some cows spend their entire lives standing up, feeding on an unnatural diet, churning out as much milk as they can till they're mercifully slaughtered. Sleep well, kids. It makes a mess. Huge dairy operations are pretty bad for the animals, and even worse for the environment, especially if you don't want poop in your water. Dairy farms produce almost a billion tons of manure each year, and most of that goes straight into our waterways. And speaking of pollution, remember this. A single factory farm cow emits more harmful gases over its lifetime than a mid-sized car. In fact, the dairy industry is the single biggest smog generator in California. It's bad for you. Milk makes your bones strong, your grandpa with one good hip probably yelled at you. Turns out, milk might do the exact opposite. A Harvard study showed drinking more dairy led to a higher risk of bone fracture. And if your bones don't break next time you fall, you'll only have your fat ass to think. High fat, high cholesterol products like milk are not part of a healthy diet and have been shown to increase the risk of heart disease, diabetes, and chronic double chin. No, really, it's bad for you. Most milk made in America is treated with the Monsanto-produced growth hormone, RBGH. Being shot full of chemicals, surprise, surprise, makes cows sick. So then they need to be pumped full of more chemicals to cure the symptoms of the other chemicals. This medicinal hormonal slurry makes its way into the cow's blood, then the actual milk itself, then you. Ah, the circle of life. The dairy industry. Milk is big business. Small-scale dairy farms have been calling it quits for decades, unable to compete with the big boys. Half the milk sold worldwide is supplied by just 4% of these mega dairy farms. It's literally factory farm or bust. And these bullies throw their money into all kinds of coercive practices, buying off politicians to ensure big milk subsidies, forcing milk into our kids' schools, and brainwashing us with some of the best propaganda of the modern era. Gross, right? So how can you get your milk mustache ethically? Buy your milk from a local farmer whose practices you support. You can find a full list of responsible dairy farmers at realmilk.com. Or you could join millions of other Americans and just go dairy-free. For BFD, I'm Danny Knights. Click the link to subscribe and tell us what you think about milk and dairy.